but I can actually do text messages on my tablet. And this tablet is not a phone, um, obviously, but I have my tablet and my phone connected. And that means that if I tap on the messaging icon that I got in the alert here, I can go and I can type back, oops, if I could type, um, in the messaging application, that synchronizes with my phone, um, and the message that I type there goes out through my phone, uh, and if I bring out my Pre-3 here, let me find a message. Here we are. Um, and so you can see here the message and the responses. Um, and so I think that's a really neat thing. What that means is I don't have to dig my phone out all the time. Uh, I can, I can uh, text while I'm in a meeting or while I'm on the couch and my phone's across the room. It's a really neat integration of the different pieces of technology that we have. One other really neat, well, I'll talk a little bit more about how, the, how other places that we've done. Okay, so um, the next thing I want to talk to you about is the browser. So the WebOS browser is built around web technologies. That means WebKit, HTML5 support, and Flash support. So that means you get the web as you would expect it. And so pretty much the web browser works as you'd expect. You can go through, you can look at tons of web pages, um, but we can do more than that. And one of the great things that we showed off is uh, touch to share. All I have to do is I take my Pre-3 here and I touch it briefly on the, on the touchpad and you'll see without me doing anything else, the same web page that I have here on the touchpad is going to load on my Pre-3. It's a really simple and elegant integration of all of our technology um, and, and it's one of my real favorite features here. This is accomplished using our Touchstone technology. Our Touchstone technology not only is in, in uh, the communications piece, but also allows us to charge. And you can see here um, our Touchstone charger uh, for the touchpad as well. So I could put it here um, and I'll be able to see my touchpad while it's charging. So I think that's also a really great uh, integration of that technology across a number of different gestures. So multi-touch gestures. So the main one that I want to show you, you know, that I'll show you guys is the standard pinch and zoom. Uh, that's that's really the major one that we're showing off today. Could you show us the keyboard resizing? Thing? Sure, keyboard resizing is really fun. Let me get to messaging real quick. Okay, so all I have to do is I hold down on this keyboard icon mm -hmm. and it brings up the the t-shirt sizes and I can pick off what I want and it sizes itself. The same button allows me to dismiss the keyboard and bring it back. Um, and then the other thing I'll just show you real quick, you can see the other panel of symbols and so on. So you can get to the things you want really quick. Is there a portrait keyboard as well? Because I don't think we saw there it. There is, yes. There we are. So here's the portrait keyboard. I can play the same tricks. I can make it smaller. I can do whatever I want there. Um, and then you see this button here, this previous button, or it'll turn into a next button depending on where I am, allows me to switch through fields without going and tapping back in a different place and so on. Um, so again, really trying to increase your productivity while you're typing. And the, the, the touchpad again does not have a gesture area, it actually has a physical hardware button? That's correct, it does not have a gesture area. One hardware button. No, there's the power. Oh, right there. And so there, there are other buttons. There's a power button up on top and volume buttons around the side here. Okay. And where are the speakers? Is the so you see the two speakers up in the front here, stereo speakers. Okay. Um, and then there's a headset jack as well up on top. Any yeah, other interfaces? Uh, micro USB at the bottom and touch them. Um, this also has, and I, I didn't talk about it at the top, Wi-Fi, so 802.11bgn, including 5 gigahertz support. Um, it's got Bluetooth in it, um, and uh, we talked briefly about 3G and, and 4G versions that will be coming later. You had mentioned a multi-protocol chat client inside, yeah. out of the box. So this, um, so messaging is another place where synergy is is uh, demonstrated. And so I showed you just text messaging, but if I tap here on my buddies, these are all my Google buddies. Um, the messaging application brings together uh, Google, Yahoo, AOL, um, 
uh, and, and a number of other chat protocols, and through Synergy lets you chat with them all in one place. Is there so any I video chat support or um, for these? So what we demonstrated on stage, we're working with uh, Skype um, to produce a uh, video calling solution, and that's okay. what this uh, front-facing camera. So was the demo on stage a uh, um, Skype like no. prototype, or was it a HP in internal thing? We're working with Skype on the prototype.